Hello everybody, this is Kanda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this video, I have Sonoff ZigBee motion sensor, SNZB03. This device can detect movements up to 6 meters and talking about the angle up to 110 degree. This device is designed with ZigBee 3.0 protocol with better security, flexibility, and the ability to deploy to multiple regions. Also, ZigBee 3.0 certification scheme ensures the interoperability of products from different manufacturers. All in all, ZigBee 3.0 protocol features are low power, reliable and robust, scalable, secure, global standard. I wasn't a fan of ZigBee before, but by advent of ZigBee 3.0, I got interested in it because of its improvement and its features. Using ZigBee devices, we need a hub. In this video, I use Sonoff ZigBee Bridge as the hub. Let's start setting up the device. Before that, I thank Sepermona Work Group and Artman Company for supporting me to make this video. First of all, we must pair the ZigBee Bridge with Evelink app. This is the ZigBee bridge. Let's unbox it. In the box, we have the device. Product qualification. Manual, a quick manual. In order to use the device, we have to power it up by using a USB cable and this is the pairing button after powering on the device will enter the quick pairing mode let's power on the device i connect the usb cable to it as i said after powering on the device the device will enter the quick pairing mode during the first use. The Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash. This is the Wi-Fi LED indicator. The device will exit the quick pairing mode if not paired within three minutes. If you want to enter this mode, long press the pairing button for about five seconds, this button, until the Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash and then release the button while the zigbee bridge is in pairing mode i tap on plus on evelink app tap on quick pairing select add one device in this page you should select the wi-fi you want to connect the bridge to it and enter its credential then tap on next Wait till the Sonoff ZigBee Bridge is paired with Evelink app. Device added successfully. By default, it has a name ZB Bridge. You can change the name and set a room for it. Then tap on Done. ZigBee Bridge is paired with Evelink app. It's time to pair Sonoff ZigBee motion sensor. Let's unbox the Sonoff motion sensor. In the box, we have the device. Quick manual. qualification, product qualification, and adhesive tape, 3M adhesive tape for installing the device. While installing this device, do not install it on metal surface. If you do so, it will affect its wireless communication distance. 
Also, the recommended height of installing this device is less than 2 meters. In order to pair this device or let's say start using this device, we have to pull out the battery installation sheet. Pay attention to these parts of the motion sensor. I use a screwdriver to remove the cover. Then I take out the battery installation. Pay attention to this. Pay attention to this sign and here. The motion sensor is ready to be used. Access Evelink app. Select the bridge that you want to connect the motion sensor to it and tap add to add the sub device. The motion sensor has a pairing button here. Line press this button for five seconds until the LED indicator flashes three times, which means the device has entered the pairing mode. Okay, I press it for five seconds until the LED of the device flashes three times. Then release the button. Be patient until pairing completes. As you see, Vlink app shows that one device is found. You can wait or exit the pairing mode by tapping on next. I prefer waiting. One device added. I touch confirm. Pay attention that while pairing the device, put it as close to the Zigbee bridge as you can. Okay, you see motion sensor is added as a sub device to Sonoff Zigbee bridge. If you go to the main page of the Evolink app, you see the motion sensor there. Okay, by tapping on motion sensor or tapping on Zigbee bridge, then tapping on motion sensor, we are navigated to its page. As you see, there is no icon showing whether the motion sensor is tricked or not. But we have the log of the device. We have the battery status of the device on the top right corner of the Evelink app. You will get a notification of low battery level when the battery life gets 10% remaining. The device has two states, no motion is detected and motion is detected. When the motion is detected, after one minute of unoccupied movement, no motion detected is tricked. The next trigger can be activated if there is no motion detected within one minute after the previous detection. By going to the motion sensor page on Evelink app, as you see, there is an IP camera icon at the top right corner of the screen. If you have paired Sonoff IP camera with your Evelink app, you can link the camera with this device. I tap on the camera icon. In this page, you will see the list of your IP cameras. Tap the camera you want to link then tap on save. By clicking on three dots at the top right corner of the Evelink app, you are navigated to the device settings. You can change its name, assign location, and enable push notification. Also from this page, you can delete the device. We'll get to it later soon. After pairing the Zigbee motion sensor with Zigbee bridge, if you see that the device does not detect movement, leave it 
for a while. It may take a long time to get to working. I paired a Zigbee motion sensor with Zigbee bridge. It wasn't working. After a while, the motion sensor started working. Using this device, you can create scenes. In another video, I will show you how you can create scenes using Evilink app and Sonoff devices. Deleting the sub device, which in this video is Sonoff Zigbee motion sensor, or let's say removing it from Evilink app. There are two ways. The first one is a long press the pairing button for five seconds until the LED indicator flashes three times. In this case, the sub device is deleted from the bridge successfully. Also, you can delete sub device directly from the sub device page on app. On Evilink app, I tap on motion sensor then tap on three dots at the top right corner of the screen. At the bottom of the page, in device settings, I tap on delete device. Then tap on confirm. Sub device is deleted successfully, or let's say is unpaired successfully. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.